<sighs> okay. Big happy thoughts, Christopher Chat. Hello. <laughs> I have been struggling today. Um, struggling to film and edit this review so many times. Um, at this point, I think I've, I feel like I've lost count. Um, I've reshot this video. Just something isn't right. I, I want to get this perfect because what is happening today is so important. Anakuma has come back from the dead. Uh, they had about a six month silence. Their customer support was not talking. Uh, you couldn't buy the K10. Um, just a, a, a ton of stuff. But anyways, here we are. Anakuma is back and they almost instantaneously wanted to resume the partnership, which is awesome. We have the Anakuma K5. Jane, if you could, if you could not. Uh, I, I'd say it's on par with the M180, the OGG. Um, sound quality is pretty good. Uh, we'll start with that. Uh, because that's always important when you're shopping for a budget headset, and this one, whew, this is budget. This is $18. This is probably the biggest bank product Anakuma has sold in ages. Sound quality and microphone are the two big focuses. The comfortability, stuff like that, that can go on the back seat when you're going bang for the buck. Um, you want big cash stuff. So, sound quality. This thing is great. 7.1 surround sound. Um, I believe it says 16 ohms on the back. Yes, 16 ohms. That means this thing is not drawing much power, but boy does it pack a punch for the power it draws. If we're putting, if we're putting the M180 as an S tier, this is an A tier headset. Um, the mic, whew, that's a, it's a great mic for an $18 headset. Um, it really does impress me. Um, it has great sound. Great sound. <laughs> well, there's not really much else you can do with the mic. It, it sounds pretty great for an $18 headset. The noise cancellation impressed me. I put Knockout City at maximum volume uh, and played it out of my phone speakers, which are Dolby Audio. Like, the good stuff. Um, and it turned out that it could walk out about 40% of that while I was talking, and I could hear every word I said. I will put that test right here. Okay, boys, <laughs> with no outtakes this time, uh, this is the zero background noise test for the Anakuma K5 mic. Um, so far, I'd give it a pretty good score. Uh, I mean, it's an $18 headset, so what can you say? This is a great mic for that. Um, other than that, I'm about to do a ton of background noise tests, uh, so prepare for that mentally. Um, and yeah, the background noise cancellation for these is pretty good, though, so... Anyways, uh, I'll see you then. Now this is the mic test with a lot of background noise. I have my fans going max. I have some Knockout City music playing. Uh, there is a lot of background noise going, and the audio track looks fairly similar on uh, the Audacity file. So I'd say hopefully canceling out some of the background noise, uh, but we'll see, I guess. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it's really impressive, um, especially for an $18 mic. Um, I should probably do an a background noise cancellation test for my blue. But as long as you have this thing's mic sensitivity at like 75%, uh, putting out 100 is kind of murderous because the mic is right there because the, this wire is bendy so you can position it however you want. With the mic being right there, it's going to sound a bit sensitive, like a, a little bit pitchy. Um, is right up against you. So you want to turn your sensitivity just a little bit down. Let it let it do its let the uh, let the mic do its work. Secondly, the lights really brilliant blue. And by that I don't mean like oh it's so big brain. No, I mean like this is like vibrant. This is punch in the face blue. Um, and coming out of an LED, that's impressive. Um, it doesn't push on the back of my ear. The inside of the ear cup is big enough. Oh, and there's that flexibility. The inside of the ear cup is big enough that I can fit my entire ear in there and without any fuel. Um, it has an aluminum strap uh, encased in plastic, of course, just like the K10. Um, so it is flexible uh, and durable. The plastic is really nice. Like it's a, it feels like, it kind of feels a little bit like ABS. I don't know if it is that though. Um, it's really nice plastic. So 
Yeah. It's like the same like really durable plastic, like durable and kind of flexible plastic they use for like Nerf guns, stuff like that. Like how it's like hard. It's not like brittle. Um, it's just nice plastic. <laughs> it's hard to explain it. Now, they do come with the splitter attached. This is the splitter. This is the thing that got me so many comments on the K10. Because people, nine times out of ten, did not remove the splitter. The end of the cable will be split into two 3.5mm headphone jacks. One is for mic, one is for audio. If you are not using a desktop PC, take it off. You do not need it. It is not a necessary part of the headset. It is just there to make your job a little easier if you're on desktop. Um, other than that, there's not really much else to say. Uh, which I'm going to use as a segue to talk about where my channel is going. Uh, currently, uh, I have a very very large amount of things for the lighting right now because it's 10 p.m. Um, so I'd like to say I've been doing a little bit more work on my channel because I used to shoot these in like garbage lighting, uh, wouldn't do any editing, uh, and as you can hear there's background music. Um, you know, I, I've done a, a whole ton of work recently on improving my content. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want people to have a reason to subscribe. You shouldn't, and this is, I fully support this, um, I was a really trash channel. I was doing unedited videos. I don't know how the K10 video has 10,000 views, because it was unedited. It was just me hyping up over the K10, which is an awesome headset. No, wait, the K10 has 30,000 views, holy crap. Honestly, I want to I wanna make my content more worth it to watch, so. Um, please do subscribe, I'd love you to be there when my content is finally, like, fun to watch. Because I know, I've seen my analytics, nobody watches past two minutes, on average. There's maybe some videos where I'll get someone to watch, like, eight minutes in, and then you won't click off. But, you know, I want to give people a reason to subscribe. That's why I've started to edit my videos, you can see that Battlefront video, I was super hyped about that editing, and it got, like, no views. <laughs> Yikes. Uh... <laughs> So, yeah, I want you guys to have a reason to subscribe. I'm getting enough views to get monetized. Um, I do not have enough subscribers. I have only 880. I need 1,000. Um, that would also allow me to get a creator code for uh, Epic Games. So, you know, subscribe, share this video with a friend. Um, help me out, watch my videos. I'm going to be putting a lot more work, which is also going to mean that there's going to be less of them, of course. Um, I'm not gonna be able to, I'm probably not gonna be able to upload multiple times a week like I used to. Uh, because it would have taken me like a half an hour to make a video. Because <laughs> I wasn't editing them. Uh, maybe I'd put, maybe I'd clip them or put some background music, but I really was not editing them, so. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be doing a lot more focus on that. Um, and that, that's where, that's where we're uh, boiling down, so, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later. Um, I hope you can tag along for my content. And yeah, that's about it, boys.